Thank you so much to Card Market for sponsoring today's video. Hello everyone, my name is Philippa. Today I'm going to be playing Standard Best of One with Blue Eyed Control. And that's right, I joined the dark side, but that's because I was losing so much on the ladder. I didn't understand what was going on. It seemed like every deck that I was trying, I could not win. And you know I'm not posting a deck here on YouTube if I'm not having some sort of success with it. And I'm proud to say that this deck has over 80% win rate. I got it from MTG Goldfish. I'm going to link it down below and it's a blue white control deck now wandering emperor memory luge are gone so we don't see as much blue white on the ladder as before but there's a new star of the show and there's caretaker talent when I first saw this card, I didn't understand because this card is based on making tokens and I didn't think that fitted very well in blue-white until I understood something. It doesn't need to be creature tokens, it can be your clues, your treasures, so actually this works really well with blue-white control. Whenever one or more tokens you control enter, you draw a card. This only triggers once each turn. But for example, if you play the deuce in your opponent's turn, you create a clue, this is going to trigger again. Uh, then for one mana you can level up to create a token that's a copy of target token you control and for four mana you can creatures you control get plus two plus two creature tokens so that works with some of the cards that we are going to see later here on the deck we're playing for Elspeth Smite, Smite and this card I didn't understand I didn't think it was that great but again mono red you need it you need four of these uh, mono red is everywhere aggressive decks are everywhere a lot of decks that also when a creature dies does something so not only these exiles it deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature for just one mana so you need these against those aggro decks trust me we have three three steps ahead I mean it's blue white control we're going to counter things it also creates a token if you see one of the modes uh three get loss for removal for the dues so this is one of the ways that we have to create tokens this is going to create as a clue four no more lies four caretakers talent one tide binder two archangel elspeth so this card works so well with our little caretakers because you plus one you create a one one token so it's a token it's going to trigger it Later on, it's going you're going to give it plus two, plus two with your caretakers. And the tokens have lifelinks, so it works really well against aggressive decks as well. We have two Beza. I love this card. Honestly, one of my favorite new cards from Bloomboro. It's a four mana, four, five. Already good stats, right? But it gets better. Whenever it enters, you create a treasure token if an opponent controls more lands than you. You gain 4 life you know, if an opponent has more life than you. You create 2 one, one blue fish creatures if an opponent has more creatures than you do. And you draw a card if an opponent has more cards in hand than you. So this is really good if you're behind. If you're ahead, you don't really need it. It's still a 4 mana, 4, 5, which is great. But when you're behind on life, gaining you life is so good. On creatures, making you the 1-1s one -ones as well. Again, this is a beast against those aggro decks. When they see Beza, they concede because this card is good. Also, it makes you tokens, right? It makes you the treasure or the fish. So it works once again so good with Caretaker's Talent. We have two Season of Boros and this card is so good. You can make five one ones, which usually it's what I want to do if I'm winning. If you're behind, you can use the other modes to exile a creature. But think about this. You make five one ones. Then you pump them with your caretakers the following turn and suddenly you have three threes, five fives if you have two caretakers, seven sevens if you have three, four sun falls. So that card again makes you a token. Do you see the team? It works so well in this deck, to be honest. In terms of lands, of course, we are running the Restless Anchorage. This is really good against um, a lot of the decks and also creates you a map token when you attack. And Fountain Port to create its tokens draws a draws us cards as well it works really well in this deck now how does this deck sometimes do lose so you need to be careful with one thing sometimes you lose to your own deck that's right caretaker's talent is not a may so you're going to draw the cards either you want them or not and when you have three or four in the board things stack up because you're creating so many tokens and you need to create tokens to win because that's the way that you're going to win the game is with your tokens if you attack with the restless and courage you're going to create tokens so just saying you need to be careful because 
Look at the cards that you have in the deck. Think if you want to play that third or fourth caretaker's talent if you already have enough cards and if you don't have a lot left in your deck. So just know how to manage that properly. But overall, again, this deck has 80% or more win rate, which is amazing. I'm going to leave the exact stats down below. But without further ado, let's get some games. I go first and I keep it. I mean, it's... I need a land, that's true, but let's hope. Oh, it's the discard deck. Oh, the found port is great, especially with the caretaker talent. Oh, it's Golgari. I was not expecting that, I must say. That's Elspeth. Like, even if they have removal for Elspeth, uh, it's fine. I'll still keep the token. I doubt that they have removal for Elspeth plus the token. That would be a 2 for 1, so I'm okay with that. If they play something like Children, I have removal. Yeah, that I have removal for. I'm just going to pass. That's okay. So I'm going to kill that. If they play another creature, I'll get lost again. No more lies. Start drawing cards, which is great. So now, like, even if they find find a way to make me discard all my all my cards, it does not matter because of my Elspet. Sure. Now I have the season of Boro. I'm tired of your secrets. I mean, I'm giving them a card. How nice am I? I'm super nice. That's fine. They probably went in the mirror a lot. With this ballot here. Damn, I'm giving them all the lands. They might have cut down. A bit annoying. You know what? Look how big my tokens are. I'm going to start attacking soon. I need to find the removal for this. That's okay. They might use it again just to get a card. Free land. Oh, that's not bad, but it's not what they want, is it? I think that's not what they want, to be honest. Let's draw a card. <laughs> thinking about it. I am thinking...
I'm just going to make a treasure. Honestly, at this point, Sunfall. The found port is giving me so much value. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, I thought I had fountain port, but I don't. Doesn't matter. We just win. <laughs> we just win. GG. Okay, I go first. It has potential. I really like the Elspeth Smite here. But we do need lands. Let's keep it. I have ways to draw. Okay, our opponent is Mulligan. This is good. Let's say white, because right now I have more white cards. I did not get a land yet, though. Okay, that's... I mean, you know what? Might as well. Okay, we did get a land, so that's lovely. Still need one more. That's not good. So now let's get a blue source. That's great, I love it. So although I don't have less cards yet, so... That loss is good. Do not touch me again. Hopefully they don't make me discard Beza, but it might happen. I mean, if they really like the card that they have. They do, that's good for me. Sure. I don't want them to get extra cards. Hmm, that's bad. They didn't get give me damage though, so I can just choose this one. Yeah, if... If they draw now, it's better for me. But they don't. They're playing well around my best, they, they don't even know about it. Caretaker is great, though. Yeah, they do not get cards additionally, which is great. I mean, they can go for throat something, but... That's good for me. Actually looking pretty nice. I'm going to let it deal the 4 damage, because it does not kill it, so... Okay.
Let's see what I draw. <laughs> Another one, that's funny. They'll probably use go for throat on one of those, but that's fine. I still deal 6 damage. And they are getting no value from me because my caretaker's talent is just carrying me alongside Elspeth and I have another Elspeth, so... That's fine. Let's see what I draw. <laughs> they were like, no. Enough is enough. I agree, opponent. Enough is enough, indeed. Okay, let's control things. Not bad. Oh, our opponent's playing some red. Exiling it is pretty good. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I just need to keep all my counters and they can never do anything. Sure. How oh, innocent of you. Of course, I could never let that resolve. I take the damage. And what else do you have? Nothing, okay. In that case... Ooh, that's so rough. Okay. I love Beza. Okay. I cannot counter everything. I take one. Okay, Beza, gain me life. I think it just gains me life here, but still pretty good. It's a 4-5 as well, which is going to be difficult for them to deal with. Yeah, at this point, they just concede. Actually, if you go against an aggro deck, blue-white control can be a very fast deck to play with. So opponent goes first. I think I want to keep it. Although it's kind of slow if they're playing red on the play, but hopefully they are not. Okay, so let's discover what our opponent is playing. They have Mabel, so maybe Voros. Never mind. Oh, I like that card. Black is not exactly known for being a fast deck, to be honest. Okay, so it's skeletons. I mean, I love me some skellies. I need Sunfall against this deck. Cannot counter that, unfortunately, so I have to take six. Yikes. Okay. 
The thing is, I have to start playing something. Okay, Tiny Boy and Join Up is fine, I guess. So now if you want to attack, you lose one. They can get it back, but it takes mana. Ooh. And they choose not to. Interesting. So I have Sunfall eventually now. Okay. Not much I can do there. Okay. What can I do? I can sunfall. I have to. And I have to hope that they don't have more skeletons. Okay, that's great for me, I guess. I needed it. Just counter something. Not sure what they choose, but we'll see. Of good cards. I can just counter things, which is good. We'll start with that one. I feel like they might have removal. Yeah, is that like cut down? Fair enough. Okay, this is just for me not to die. I get to block and all. So these blocks here, two block there. And then I draw something. Another one, damn. They just have so many. Okay, but now I'm going to start drawing a lot of... Ooh, that's great. I love it. Okay, I have the smite, which is nice. You see, target creature can block this turn. Okay, that's fine, because I have a lot of creatures. So one of these gets this. And then we do that and that. Now it's a bit of a value fight, like they are getting the corpse back every turn, but I have my caretaker talent.
The way they tap me for mana is a bit debatable though. Might be dead. We'll see. I'm at one. Sunfall is actually good. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, I obviously, obviously I have to chump. Okay. So I'll chump, chump. I'll gain life though. So that's good. And now with my Elspeth, I start drawing every turn, which is nice. Ooh, Beza though. I have to. Life gain is also amazing. Okay, now things are looking much more promising. I think we might actually win. Sure. Oh no. I do lose life though. Need to be careful with that. That's okay. He does have haste as well. Okay. Okay. Do they want to give leave me super low on life? But I'm still alive. Let's deduce. Not a Beza. Let's draw more. At this point, I do need to be a bit careful. But I think it's fine. Because I have the Elspeth Smith thing, Smite Smith. exiled no but they didn't let me finish having fun i wanted to exile the other one as well ggs i think this is fine no more lies is great i love it elspeth is also great sunfall is great if they're playing some creature spell and we are on the play which if they are playing mono red it's really important yeah they are They know that probably I have no more lies. So next I can do Elspeth, which is pretty good. Because this has lifelink and everything. Ooh, that thing is scary. This doesn't have trample yet. They have something, but they decided not to play it. <laughs> like, do I want to play Elspeth? I think so. But that means that maybe next turn I cannot play anything unless I get something untapped. It's a risk I'm willing to take, though. Because they might go for Elspeth either way. We'll sh we shall see. That's fair. Okay, so they might go for Elspet, which might gain me time. Okay. 
Okay, that's four. Do they have to choose? Do they have something else? Okay. So let's see if they go both face or if they want to kill Elspeth. They do. Okay, that's good. That's good for me. I mean... Elspeth just gained me life. I need an untapped land. That's it. Oh no, this is a land, but it's tapped. I'm probably dead. I'll take the untapped land because I might need this Restless and Crush to die. Yep. The exile thing is pretty good though. Okay, let's think. So I definitely need to do this. The question is, oh, I pay a life. Because I'm going to Sunfall. If I do this, it's three, four, five, six, seven. This might be my end, but... Like, if they have any kind of damage. Yeah, that works. It has aced. Ah, close though. Very close. GG. I need a base or something. Okay. I don't know if I can keep these. I have this three steps ahead, but the mana is really bad. I think I'm going to mull. Much better. We can take a Founder Port out. But yeah, that's the thing, like... The mana base needs to be good. Otherwise... You can just lose games for nothing. Okay, that's great, I love it. We're playing against the Mir, which I don't know if it's one of our best matchups, but... We'll see. Would love to Caretaker, but I think they might have Counter Magic. Ooh, but they are having trouble with the mana. If they are playing Fable now, either they have two Fables or... Let's play Fountain Port, because if they don't play anything, we can just make a token. like that. I mean, I don't know if I should counter. Uh, I don't want to spend my no more lives for that, but that's quite the ramp. I love it. Like, props to the opponent. Honestly, I love it. Impressed. They have a lot of cards as well. I'm not letting that resolve. For obvious reasons. So I could potentially go for the Season of Borrow. Making a lot of 1-1s. But I think that's not the moment yet. Maybe next turn. Let's see what they do. They might have tried to play another view too, maybe? We'll see. Maybe they have another copy of the ability. Who knows? Oh, if they attack with the Restless Reef, actually that leaves me the door open. That's actually great for me. <laughs> Hopefully they even get a permanent that it's less or three or less. Unfortunately, no, but... I think I'll just create a bunch. Love Tidebinder. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'll copy it. I can wait to copy as well. Maybe I wait. So right now, he's not giving me that much. 
because I already drew a card for the turn, so I'm going to wait. Yeah, I think they might have a cut down. Like, I think they have a lot of removal in their hands. Because... I don't know, I just think so. Because there's a lot of red in best of one, so... Ooh, that's good. That's a good one. That's a good one. And I'm sure they have removal as well. Let's pass. I can make a fish, for example, or a treasure. That'll draw me a card. I think a treasure is better. Tide Binder, that's a card. That's good. I'll just pass. So that's how I win against control, is that by outvaluing them with the caretaker, I feel like. Because now I'm the one that has the Tishana Tide Binder. I should have countered the ability now that I think about it. Like of it becoming a land instead of now the milling one. No, I wanna... you know what, I'm taking the damage, because I wanna copy my treasure. I know it's a bit greedy, but... I love Beza here. I'm going to wait again to use this ability. Okay, now things are looking good. I still have the Elspeth Smite to, to take care of something. Because most likely they have like a Gopher Throat or something like that. And again, base is such a strong card. I really love it. Yeah, that makes sense. I was expecting something like that. Them milling, in my, milling me is really concerning because I have the caretake talent drawing me a lot of cards. So I need to find win cons before I lose out of that. That's a good one. So they might have cut down. I'll let it resolve. Let's get a land. 
We also get a land. But that's fine. I mean, if they activate the Restless Reef, I have the Get Lost, so... All in all, not too bo bad. And then with the Season of Borrow, if they don't have a board wipe or a counter, it can be really good with my Caretaker talents. So I have this Plaza counter, which is nice. Let's draw. We still have counter magic. And honestly, next turn I'm just going to activate and activate, give my creatures plus four plus four. I think it's pretty annoying, I don't want to deal with that. They have probably the thing that counters the ability. Well, hopefully they don't have a board wipe. They might be thinking about attacking. I'll block and use the Aspet Smite if they do. So I guess they don't. That's scary. That's definitely scary. Good games. Okay, I can keep this. It's not great, but it's fine. And it has the Elspeth Smite, so if they play red, I'm just going to play a planes and try to go for it. Cute little fox, by the way. Okay, in that case, I start with the Anchorage. The Deuce is great, I love it against Golgari because I need that card advantage in this matchup. No more lies. Okay, here I want to deduce for sure. Ooh, I love Caretaker. Look at the card draw. Let's go. It's just like this deck just draws so many cards, it's insane. Four damage, exile a card, make a food. I mean, it's great, but with the value that I have, I do not care. I have too much value, I don't even know what to do. They just have so many cards as well that... I'm going to kill that. What else do they have? It's so weird that to me that they're not playing things. It's like, what are you doing, opponent? 
It's so sus. Yeah, I'm drawing so much. I just want to draw a season of Boro. There we go. Let's make a little fish. Let's draw a lot of cards here. Did I already declare which one I want? Shouldn't they wait for me to declare which one I want? It's okay. Okay, gotta discard things. I mean... Unfortunately, they have mana. It's quite annoying. So I, I need another one. Come on, give me another season of Boro. I have to keep discarding cards, which is not great, but I might deck myself out if I don't find what I need. Okay, so they found some lands, which is great, I guess. I don't know what they're trying to do. It's like a control Golgari. I'm intrigued. But I'm also confused. Oh, I hope it's not the combo one. Okay, so they want to exile something from me. It has to be the season of Boro, right? Yeah, that card can win me the game. And they know it. My Fountain part port alone, though, it's making a 5-5 five five each turn. many do I have in the deck? I have only one more in the deck, so that's fine. I think they're just looking at my deck. My Elspeth is more concerning, I think. I think they just want to draw cards, maybe, from this fountain port. Like, they sack that. Ooh, another caretaker. I need to be careful. But I need to find an Elspeth. It's okay. Okay, they're at 21. What else do they have? They have five, six, seven men available. Eight men available. I'm intrigued. What do I still have in my deck? 
besides a lot of lands. I still have two bases. Bases would be great. I still have two well spots. So still a couple good spells that win me the game because I need to find those winning spells before I deck out. That's the issue. Because they are still at 21 life. That's fine. I mean, I guess I would just outrun them. Yeah, I would just outrun them. But I could mill myself. They should not have conceded. That's it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun with these decks. So after playing all the games, let me just check here my win rate so you can all see. I have to do some math. Uh, so let me see here after our session of today how does that look like I, I really overall enjoyed it i'm a big fan of base i have to say i know some people maybe don't like this card but i think it's great it's it's not a children of course but okay so 75 percent win rate which is still pretty good 17 and 6 i feel like it, that's amazing uh and yeah i love this deck so much and that's it i'll see you in the next video Bye bye